you've been looking at uh, the use of a monoclonal antibody in patients with multiple myeloma who've had just about everything thrown at them already, haven't you? Yes. W w this study, what do you make of it? What, what was done, first of all? What was the big issue? Yeah, so uh, daratumumab is an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. And this study was a little bit of an update of the data that I presented at ASCO in June where we presented data on uh, 100 patients, over 100 patients, that all got the same dose of 16 milligram per kilogram. And this was the trial that led to the US FDA approval within the last two weeks. The update today presented by Dr. Osmani pooled patients who got the 16 milligram per kilogram from our study with 16 milligrams per kilogram from the Gen 501 study, a paper that was published earlier in the year, and looked at aggregate response rates and duration of response. Right, so what were you getting in terms of response rates and the quality of response in patients who didn't have alternatives at yeah. this point? So the response rate in aggregate for the two trials was about 31%, so one in three patients had a response. There were actually patients who achieved complete remissions or very good partial remissions, about 10%, so very good. And the durability of those responses among the responders was actually quite striking close to a year in many patients. And this is daratumumab monotherapy? Correct. Is that the only way you would use it, in fact? No, well, that's the current FDA approval in the U.S. is monotherapy, but there are trials that are going to be presented at this meeting combining with lenalidomide that look very, very encouraging, and trials that are going to be presented combining with pomalidomide that also look very, very exciting in a refractory relapse patient population. What sorts of toxicities do you get with uh, this monotherapy? Yeah, I think the beauty of antibody therapy is that the main toxicity we see is infusion reactions, a reaction during that first or second dose of therapy. Beyond that, it's, uh, the comment I have from a patient is, it's like I don't have cancer anymore. Hmm. What should doctors be making of this then? This is a big game changer for us, having monoclonal antibodies in a disease like myeloma where we didn't have them before and can attack the cancer through immune-based mechanisms is really exciting. Okay, so this is third line, fourth line, or whatever therapy. What do you see its role being as we move forward? It's going to be brought to newly diagnosed and upfront and maintenance. It's going to be like rituximab and lymphoma. It's going to get used everywhere. A brief take home from this for doctors? Uh, get ready. If you don't have it already, you're going to have it, and it's going to make a big difference.